We are here at this job site where we are going to put some artificial grass along this patio all the way to the end of the house. So we need to level it and make uh, the water run towards that way where we're going to make a pond. It. We already got all this leveled. We got all this leveled. And uh, what we need to what we need to do now is to make sure our borders are correct. So we're going to be at three foot on both sides. We extended the, the tamped area that way just in case we go further than our line that way we can get some tempered all the way through especially for the material in between. I'm gonna have a pond right here about three foot three foot by by twelve. Three foot by twelve. I'm gonna have that with the ponding rock. This is going to be grass, and then on this side is going to be pavers, stuff that tumbled many stone pavers from our other job site in Carlsbad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we get lucky and we get a job that's nice loose sand like this and other times we just get just pure rock. So luckily it's easy sailing with this loose sand. Nice. Welcome back. We are showing you how to dig a grave today. <laughs> so which one are you getting in there and gonna get buried? <laughs> My hopes and dreams. <laughs> Okay, so this is our French drain. This is gonna act like a ponding, but it's gonna be covered in rocks. So that way you just see the top rock, but you can't see the depth of the actual drain from the canalies and uh, the water coming down. All it will be collected here compared to be being puddled here in the corner. first we filled in that hole that way nobody falls in it or vice versa collapses the dirt so that way we could keep on moving on and and tie in the grass the grass level the patio level to the actual rock border the 
at the bridge and uh, now the only tedious thing is getting each brick back there. Because of the, see the board? Mm -hmm. When we screed it, it's going to be low. Mm -hmm. When it's level, it'll just move right on top of it. You're not going to have no dips, or if it's high, the board will, will knock it down. Mm. So right now, we're pretty much at level. We just got to double check on the pattern. called an edge restraint so the metal is going to serve as a border so the brick hits the metal before it moves out of place mm -hmm. if you didn't put metal then your whole brick would just go everywhere over time okay. I mean it'll look good for a little bit but or you have to wet sediment concrete so they don't move but in this situation we move we put metal so we'll throw metal all the way around all the way up this side and that's gonna keep it kind of secured in. If you didn't do it, then yeah, you didn't know what you were doing. We are here at this job site uh, doing the, the grass. We uh, need to get the seam just right so that way you cannot see it once it's, it's laid out. We are here finishing up the sides, cutting the border and prepping everything else. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, be completed with this job here pretty soon.